My, my, my. Someone seems to be a little lost. Wait, no, no. You couldn't have gotten lost. This house is the only building for miles. Someone must be confused then. I mean, it's not like they could be running from me. I certainly fucking hope not. Because someone should know how much I do for them. Sweetie. Come on now. I know you can hear me. Oh, come on. The forest is scary, isn't it? Isn't the house much better? Have I not made it comfortable for you? Huh? Come on. <sighs> Nothing. Confused or not, you're not going to say anything, are you? You're not going to escape me. I know this forest better than anyone. I was born here. And a scared little mouse isn't going to escape. Especially when they can't even be bothered to hide their footprints. See? This is why you need me. You don't know what you're doing. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. I do find your weakness endearing, my dear. It's who you are. There's nothing wrong with who you are. Stop running from it! Oh, it looks like someone doesn't know where they're going. All these muddy tracks, and they all lead into this cave. That's a dead end, my sweet. You're trapped. Now, there are two ways this can go. Either you can come to me and apologize, and we can get your head set straight. Or, I mean, I can come get you instead. You know, I still haven't figured out if you're doing this to run from me. I'm assuming you didn't do it to run from me, though, because... Why would you? You get to eat your favorite meals every day, spend your entire week doing only your favorite hobbies, and sleep in the most comfortable bed. Why the fuck would someone run from that? Perfect life with a perfect husband. What the fucking nerve to even think about running from that. Honey. Honey. I, I know you're in there. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to be the one that comes to me. Maybe you want me to come to you. No, oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'll be right there, honey. What the fuck? Ah! I see how it is. Oh, I see how it is. Oh. No! You shut the fuck up. I've already got a hand on your throat. You'll listen. Or I'll force you to. So you were trying to run from me. You ungrateful bitch. After every fucking thing I've done for you, 
You've just decided to run into a forest that you have no chance of surviving. Then you try to attack me. <laughs> You don't understand, do you? Has it not clicked in your head? Do I need to spell it out? Honey? You're mine. You belong to me. I tried to make it nice. Believe me, I tried. I had to have you. The least I could fucking do was make it the life I know for a fact you always wanted. But no! Oh, you'll have to excuse me. Did that hurt? Did my grip get a little tight around your neck? Well, your little stunt here shattered my fucking feelings. So isn't it fair you feel some pain, too? <laughs> oh! It isn't! I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. You need to learn your place. And if you'd rather not be my wife, I have other things you can be. <laughs> oh, look at the fear. Does that scare you? Maybe you'd rather be my wife, huh? Maybe you'd rather eat those great meals and sleep on the comfy bed. But no. You ran. You clearly didn't want that. So now I'll give you three squares and a cot. <laughs> uh, yeah. You'll be my prisoner, not my wife. A fucking prisoner. But this is a learning experience, see? Next time you see that door open, next time that thought enters your head, telling you to run, you'll think of this moment. This moment in a dim cave entrance with my hand on your throat, my eyes staring into yours, Carving these fucking words into your fragile little psyche. I own you, bitch. And there is no way out. Oh, I need to breathe. Oh. Oh. Go ahead. Cry. Let those tears flow. I bet they'll be the first of many. Put this all away. All right, get up. See, it's easy to listen to what I have to say. Now, come on, let's go back home. I need to show you to your new room. Yeah, your new room. Remember that room upstairs that I always keep locked? I hoped I'd never have to use that room, but now I do. It's designed to handle someone who's made the wrong choices. Up, 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 up. Calm down now. Don't make me carry you back. The more you fight, the worse it'll be when we get home. Remember, this is all because of your choices. You wouldn't want to make any more bad choices, would you? Watch your goddamn mouth. I can start before we get home, if you're that fucking excited. Good. 
silent and obedient as you should be. Ah, this is a nice property. Forest for miles around the house. There's a reason why we're here. I was born in this house, raised on the property, learned to hunt game, survive on my own. My family has lived here for generations. I'm attempting to continue that tradition. Yes, attempting. You're not my wife anymore. Not now. That's a privilege you'll have to earn. I'm sure you will. It'll just take some effort. Here we are. Home again, home again. Come on. Let me show you to your new room. Oh, that expression of yours. <laughs> Don't get scared now. We're just getting started. Here we are. Your new room. A nice cot in the corner for you. And, well, <laughs> not much else. But you don't need much else. I'll bring you everything you need. Uh, uh, uh. This is all because of your choices. This room is for people who make the wrong choices. When you start making the right choices, maybe you can sleep in that comfy bed again. Anyway, I think it's time you got some rest. I'll see you tomorrow, my prisoner. <laughs>